Attention parents of high schoolers or anyone looking to get back into school, EFSC open houses are coming up in April, next on Titan Talk. Thanks for joining us. I'm Stacy Barchinger with Florida Today, and this is Titan Talk. Eastern Florida will hold an open house on each of its four campuses to give current and prospective students the chance to apply and register. Prospective students can take part in campus tours and learn about the more than 100 associate degree and certificate programs along with details about student life and athletics. Each open house also will include breakout sessions for those interested in the college's new bachelor's degrees, which launch in August. Faculty and staff will be there to answer questions and help with the application and financial aid processes. The open houses will be held from 5 to 7 p.m. on the following days and campuses. On the Titusville campus on Tuesday, April 8th. On the Melbourne campus on Wednesday, April 9th. On the Coco campus on Tuesday, April 15th. And on the Palm Bay campus on Wednesday, April 16th. For more information, call 321-632-1111. And next, looking way forward to 50 years from now, when a future Eastern Florida class will uncover what students, staff, and faculty in 2014 thought the future might look like. Filled with short writings and essays, drawings, paintings, and sculptures, a time capsule was buried just outside the library on the Coco campus last week. Students, staff, and faculty gathered to watch the capsule go underground while it will stay buried for the next 50 years. We'd like to uh, thank the college and the administrators for helping to see the future vision of Eastern Florida State College. It takes real vision with creative minds, <laughs> hard work, research, dedication, and teamwork to create programs for careers that don't even yet exist. It means Eastern Florida State College always has a future vision. Opening the time capsule in the year 2064 will show that vision and how possibility and creative thinking is sometimes all it takes to advance into realism and create societies that are successful and ahead of the time. Think your iPhone 5's Touch ID fingerprinting technology is pretty handy? The entrepreneur whose company developed the gadget is speaking at the next event in the Simpkins Lecture Series. Scott Moody will speak for one show only at the King Center on Thursday, April 17th. That show is at 11 a.m. Moody will talk about the company he sold to Apple, Authentech, the trials of launching a new major enterprise, and the most important questions budding entrepreneurs should consider when starting a new business. The Simpkins Lecture Series is free and open to the public. And in sports, baseball pitcher John Perez and softball pitcher Deja Jones are the Eastern Florida State College Student Athletes of the Week. Perez, a sophomore right-hander from Orlando, was the winning pitcher in Eastern Florida's recent 10-0 eight-inning victory at Miami-Dade College. Perez allowed just four hits and struck out five over eight innings. Jones, a freshman from Jacksonville, pitched a complete game two-hitter in Eastern Florida's 2-0 victory over Palm Beach State. She struck out four and retired 12 consecutive batters at one point, giving up just two infield singles for the win. That's our show for this week. For more information on all Eastern Florida related stories, visit the college's homepage at www.easternflorida.edu. And for the latest news and information, follow EFSC Titans on Twitter, like Eastern Florida on Facebook, and watch college related videos on Eastern Florida's YouTube channel. Enjoy your spring break. We'll see you back here relaxed, rejuvenated, and ready to close out the semester. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on Titan Talk.